ready. We were stranded. We drove to Ben to have lunch with some friends. It was our first like leisure trip to town when it wasn't like predetermined to get groceries or go to a chiropractor or anything like that. And that went really well until I needed to get gas. We pull into the fuel pump, shut the truck off, get gas, fill the tank up, go to start the truck, nothing won't start. Tried several times, you know, like you normally would, won't start. So the gas attendant helped me push the truck to the parking spot. I ended up calling my dad. I thought the problem was either the battery or the alternator. So he brought a couple batteries so that we could swap the battery out, drive as far as we can. If the problem was the alternator, swap batteries again and use a second battery to get back home. Otherwise, if it was the battery, one battery would be fine, swap it out, the alternator would charge it, we'd be back in business, again, drive home. So he brings a bunch of tools, a couple batteries, and we swap the battery out, won't start. So that basically confirmed a different theory that the starter went out and that the battery and the alternator were fine. Indeed, the starter was bad. So I jump in dad's vehicle with him, go over to O'Reilly Auto Parts, buy a new starter, which they had on the shelf, which was appreciated, drove back to the truck, and I crawl underneath, get to the starter, and we have a couple wrenches and stuff that are the right size. And I think to myself, I'm going to try to do the hardest bolt first, because if I can't get it, it doesn't matter to try to do the other ones and there was a bolt on top of the starter really hard to get to covered by a lot of other engine parts I can't get it with a wrench a wrench will not fit on it it has to be a socket and you have to use an extension a very specific combination of tools to be able to pull the hardest bolt on the starter we don't have those tools it's 645 at this point and we decide we were gonna just transfer everything over to his vehicle drive home sleep wake up grab the right tools drive another hour and a half back to my truck we're gonna pull the starter in the parking lot and install the new starter and that's what this video is about we did successfully do it and it was also an answer answer to prayer and a blessing that we really didn't have any deadlines so I think the part that's probably the biggest blessing in, in all of this is the day before the truck broke down I was scheduled to have my wisdom teeth surgery because I had the cold from Christmas I rescheduled that but if you do the math Yesterday, I started the truck twice. Well, it failed on the second time. Had I had the surgery the day before, those two starts, those last two starts on the starter would have been the first start, which would have started the truck and drove us to the doctor. I would have got my wisdom teeth surgery and been all doped up on whatever medicine they have me on that would have been the second start. So Steph would have been stuck at the doctor's office with me, <laughs> useless. But it's done. I'm just driving back now, so. Okay, so here's what's going on. This, well, I was gonna show you the good side, but. Right, this is the bad side. You can see where that leaf spring. So this part of the leaf spring is supposed to slide all the way back up there. So you can see that it has slipped off and slipped forward and is now rattling and sitting on top of the axle. Now you can see sandwiched, there's a gap. The middle leaf spring of that three set 
is the one that broke. And that is what was causing all that rattling. So I'm gonna have to replace both leaf springs and at that time, both shocks as well.